What is up guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. If you're familiar with Grant Cardone's book, The 10X Rule, this sounds very familiar to you, but he talks about different levels of action that you can take. No action, little action, normal amount of action, or massive action, and intuitively you would think no action would be the worst, but what he kind of describes in the book is actually the normal amount of action is the worst thing that you can do, is because in that state you think that you're doing something. At least if you're not taking any action at all, you know you're aware and hopefully you work to improve it, but when you're doing, taking normal amount of action, you just think that you're doing enough, but you're probably not. So I just say that to say, if you're like me and you get overwhelmed sometimes, what helps me is taking massive amounts of action to get, a, get as much done as possible so then I don't feel that as overwhelmed any longer. So that is what we are going to do today. After you watch this video, you're going to go out, take massive action to get done whatever you need to do. And that is my motivational speech for the day. Enjoy the video, guys. You win somehow, so give up on the battle, baby. What's up guys? How's everybody doing today? Or how's everybody doing just in general? How's life going? What's going on in your life? There's got to be something interesting, exciting, exuberating. Is that a word? Sometimes they just make up words. <laughs> but uh, There's got to be something that you just want to share with the world. So leave it down below. I know that everyone out there is doing well because you guys are freaking awesome. So life is going well here. Um, been very, very busy. I've been working a lot of hours, not sleeping so much. And I would think that would have a negative effect on my training but it really hasn't yet. This stuff does have a tendency to catch up to you after a while, but as of now, things are going well. On Thursday, I had such a great workout session and I wish that I was filming that day. I woke up tired and I was like, uh-oh, this is not a good feeling. But I started getting into the workout session and things were moving really well. I ended up hitting, I think, 295 pounds for like 18 reps on squats. So I, I just was feeling really good. And now today I woke up, I'm feeling energized, I'm ready to hit the gym. I think one of the reasons is because I slept so well yesterday, which does not not happen very often. I think I got a solid like seven hours and seven and a half hours maybe actually. Feel pretty good. So we're gonna hit the gym. I got some deadlifts today. It's gonna be a good one. Is there any old song that rappers have not remade? And the funny thing is, I would not know half of these old classics if it wasn't for rap music. Quick, quick taste test. Raspberry lemonade high volume. The light just wasn't long enough. Dang it, here we go again. Anyway, really quick. Very good, completely unbiased of course. I still prefer the cotton candy, but obviously you guys do as well because it was sold out. No one on the internet will ever be able to troll me as hard as this train does. Hey, what's going on everybody? I've been getting a lot of questions on my workout program lately, which excites me. I'm glad that you guys are taking interest. I know a lot of people just come here for the food, so I would be happy to share a little bit more about this program with you. So it's a powerlifting style program, it's a DUP program, and it, I'm under the guidance of Garrett Blevins, and all of his information you can find at blessedcoaching.com. So far, the program has worked extremely well for me, and essentially the nuts and bolts of this program is that, is that I'm squatting three times a week, I'm benching five times a week, and I'm deadlifting twice a week, and I'm training five days a week. So every time I go into the gym, I'm doing some type of bench variation, whether that be narrow grip, wide grip, pause bench, you name it, I've done it. So currently I'm back to doing some competition style benching, even though in this video you will be seeing some close grip. Now overall, I think the program has had adequate volume, even though it doesn't seem like it on the first few sets, because how we make up for that is that we do AMRAP sets in every single workout, and AMRAP just stands for as many reps as possible. So at least one of your compound movements on every workout session, you will be doing an AMRAP, AMRAP set, and that is how you can really push yourself. And it gets really challenging as you start to move into things like pause deadlifts. Everybody hands go and they stay there, and they stay there, and they stay there. And I can say without a doubt that those pause deadlifts as well as the pause above parallel squats have been the hardest AMRAP sets that I have ever done. So one of the cool parts about this program is it's really auto-regulated through Excel. So there's a lot of logic built in and it seems to be doing a great job, at least for me. So 
the one thing that I really try to do is beat my numbers week to week and I start to get competitive because what I've noticed is I have to hit certain numbers of reps on my AMRAP sets in order to be able to bump up the weight the next week. So obviously I'm always going to strive for that and not only do I strive to bump up the weight, I always try to hit at least one more rep than the previous week. So for example, I hit 100 or sorry, 285 pounds for 12 reps on this week and then today the following week I hit 295 pounds for 13 reps. Next week you you kind of get the pattern here. So it's really working out well for me. I'm having a really good time with the program. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me or go check out Garrett's website. And also, I've been getting some uh, getting some comments on I'm looking bigger. Well, thank you guys. I'm finally looking like I lift, perhaps. Okay, maybe I'm just getting a little bit carried away there. But the funny thing is, this program does not have a lot of fluff work at all. I do some rows, I do some tricep pushdowns, I don't do any direct bicep work at all. So my thoughts on getting bigger is it's really just a function of getting stronger and being in a caloric surplus. To me, I don't see the point if I'm not going to compete in bodybuilding to just train for aesthetics when I don't really go outside without a shirt on ever. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. I prefer to train for strength, but I'm glad that it is a nice side effect of the strength training because who doesn't want to look jacked and tan? So I hope you guys got some good information out of this. Please let me know if you have any more questions. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to all of you guys very soon. I do not like cold. A lot of times I'll have to sit here give myself a little pep talk, tell myself it'll be all right before I actually go bear this terrible weather. So hopefully the lighting looks a little bit better in my office. I went ahead and changed the light bulb so it wouldn't be as yellow. It looks extremely weird to me when I come in here, but hopefully it looks better for you guys in the video because that is what is important. Now one of the reasons I love that oatmeal is because it takes a while to eat and it keeps me full for a long time. And that is one of the strategies that I use when I know I'm going to be going out for a very big meal that night, especially think about the weekends. I know a lot of people go out, they do things. And a lot of times I'll get these questions like, well, how do you make all that fit within your macros? And I know what a lot of people will do is they'll go in in the morning, they'll plug whatever meal they're going to order into my fitness pal and they'll work, work around it. And that's fun. And I guess I do, I guess something kind of like that, but not as, uh, not as accurate because I overthink everything in my life. And the luxury of that is I have no more room in my brain to overthink food. So I know. I'm not going to let food choices restrict me from doing things I want to go out and do. So I will just eat light throughout the day and then when I go out at night I will have whatever I want. I won't even try to log it usually. Sometimes I will but it is not that serious. So you know that you've got a pretty ideal job when the worst part about it is that you have to use an HP computer. I am really struggling to remember to turn this mic on today, but all this is is some Greek yogurt, some protein powder, some frozen fruit, and some pumpkin, and a little bit of almond milk mixed up, and the whole thing is only around 400 calories. 
It is pretty good. It is not nearly as good as that two pound bacon hamburger that I had for dinner tonight. But hey, what can you do? All about moderation, right? So just wanna end the video off saying a few things here because I get a lot of emails from different people and a lot of people telling me that you know they can't go out and enjoy a night out because all they think about is food and hitting certain macronutrients or it's too high in fat or whatever. And guys, if you get anything out of my channel, I hope that it's just the realization that you do not have to restrict yourself and it is not worth sacrificing your entire life just to hit certain numbers in your diet, I promise you. In 10 years, in five years, heck, in one month, you are not going to be thinking about the food that you are eating, you will be thinking about the memories that you were out making. I can guarantee that. Go out, live your life, and the great part about this is that you can have both. You can obtain your physique goals, you can obtain your strength goals, and you can also go out, make friends, hang out with loved ones. You can have it all. It's a great thing. And remember, it is just food. I think a lot of people put too much importance on it, make it a much bigger deal than it needs to be, and I think that creates a lot of unhealthy relationships with food. And this kind of goes both ways because I've even seen where people who typically don't have the discipline to stick to a certain way of eating will try to bring other people down for trying to eat a certain way. Maybe they're trying to eat healthier foods or they're trying to make healthier options, and people will criticize them for that. So this is just my opinion, but if you view someone differently based off of, just solely based off of the foods that they eat, you are a loser. <laughs> if you care what other people are eating, then you have issues that you need to address within yourself. And a lot of times the people that I have met that have problems with the way other people eat, are just very insecure. But anyway, before I get into a rant about that, we're gonna cut off the video. So please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot. Thank you for spending this 10 or so minutes with me. I really do appreciate that. You could have been doing anything and you chose to just sit here, kick back, watch a few minutes, and uh, I really do appreciate that. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time.